Hello, this is Jeree, and I am here today to talk to you about my podcast today, my new episode. Um, so I got this quote here from my guest today. Um, his name is Jay Wesley. His name is Jonathan, but he goes by Jay Wesley. He's a speaker, an author, a preacher. He's a young man. I interviewed him today on my podcast, Kicking It With Jeree, and um, I'll show you that right here if you want to watch it and I to get it in iTunes it's on my website as well which is dereallen.com this is what it looks like uh, what is your calling is the um, title of today's message I've got about 14 episodes of my show so far time is just flying Let me give you by. a few um, little tidbits about the show um, in case you haven't had a chance to listen to it um, we're talking about things like um, the voices that you hear, like who should you listen to, who should you, who should you pay attention to, who should you ask for advice. Um, we have a lot of voices that come to us. Um, you know, we have our own voices, our self-talk, right, which could be positive or negative. Um, we can hear from God, um, and there's different ways to hear from God. Of course, most of us don't hear him in an audible voice, but you could. Um, and so we talk about that because it's easy to, if you're not careful, get mixed up between, is this God speaking to me? Is this just me? Is this my girlfriend that I just talked to about this situation or my friend that I just got advice from? So it's very easy to get confused when we have to, a decision to make or we're really unsure of what to do next, um, steps to take. Whose advice do we listen to? Right, Delvin. Um, and so sometimes even if you read the Bible, even if you feel like you're a really good person and you you tend to do the right thing, it's easy to get caught up because there's so many opinions out here. You know, this day and age, we got the news, social media, all these different people trying to tell us how to think, what to believe, trying to sway our views. And so it's very important that we go to the one who can get us clear on that. Um, another thing we talk about in this show has to do with whether or not your purpose and your calling are exactly the same thing because the you could say something like oh well what is your purpose in life what is your life purpose or what is your calling I'm, I was called by God to do this there's different ways that we hear these terms and so it's like okay well is that the same thing and if it is the same then how do I know and if that's it then you know can it change because maybe is it possible that my purpose right now in 2015 going into 2016 is the same as it will be next year or the year after or that it was 10 years ago? Because you might be growing up thinking one way about your life and what you're called to do or what your purpose might be. And then as the seasons go on and different things happen in your life, you're like, okay, maybe this wasn't the plan. Am I, am I on the right track? Am I doing the right thing? And so that's another thing we talk about in the show. And then another thing, um, the last thing I want to bring up um, about this show has to do with the difference between purpose, popularity, and profit. I don't think that any of those in and of themselves are wrong to have or to pursue, but I do think that we should take careful consideration into which one of those things um, is our primary motivation. Primary means one. So even though you may want all three, you may want to pursue your purpose, you may want to pursue profit, and you may want to pursue popularity, perhaps. Um, you know, different people are out here for all different reasons. And so we've got to take into consideration which one is motivating me? Am I looking at everybody else to see what they're doing? Do I Am I trying to get all these hearts like I'm getting right now? I really wasn't trying to get the hearts. So I Purpose, appreciate the popularity and profit. We go into that a bit as well. It's just something that came to me while we were talking. And I know, uh, especially with using uh, Instagram and um, Periscope and things like that, that it's easy to kind of look around and see what everyone else is doing and feel either left out or start to get really competitive and say, okay, you know what? I need to get this many hearts by this time, or I need to get this many likes by this time. And thinking that might that might not measure up, that popularity may have absolutely nothing to do with your profits. Go ask somebody that does a post and gets lots of likes whether or not that always translates into dollars, and they'll let you know. So this is just a quick scope to give you guys a little heads up about the show that came out today. It's called Kicking It With Doree, and it's on my website, doreeallen.com, as well as iTunes. 
and Stitcher Radio. So use Android, iPhone, whatever you use. You can get the show, download it, listen to it at your leisure. I would appreciate you uh, to, after you listen, to review, give me um, between one and five stars to let me know how we were. And I think there's one other thing I need to show you guys. So on the website... Um, it's kind of hard to see the address, but basically, if you go to my website, DeBrieAllen.com, and then you click on the menu item that says podcast, a page will come up that kind of like has my pretty face right there, okay? And so you have to go down to toward the bottom, and there is a couple of dots. It's very, very hard to see. It'd be nice if I pulled it down, wouldn't it? There's two dots right there. If you just scroll to the second dot, that will take you to the second page. It's not obvious, it took me a while to find it. And this is where you'll see my latest two episodes here. So check out the show, let me know what you think of it and give me your comments and feedback. I really appreciate um, all the feedback. It lets me know how I'm doing as I continue because this is only episode 14 and I've got a lot more to go, a lot more to share. I just wanna help people um, live a better life, get answers to those hard questions. Again, I appreciate you inviting and sharing and giving hearts, all right? Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.